That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? The reason I started is because I don't have that perception. I see flat. The same that people with sight can see a movie or a photo, everything flat, that's how I see. So I'm always crashing into trees and light poles, into furniture, into things like that, because I don't have the depth perception. I don't have the 3D. So when I start painting in the 18, 1986, 1988, I will touch my paintings and they didn't tell me anything. So it was like an empty feeling. So I didn't enjoy it. So I stopped painting for a while. And in 2003, when my daughter started painting, she was two years old and she liked painting. I took her uh, to painting classes and I started painting. And again, there wasn't that feeling. I thought it was because I wasn't mature that I could enjoy my paintings. But I realized that it was not about maturity. It was about the feeling because I touch everything. In order for me to see how far a person is, if they have lace or it's just a pattern, I need to touch. Uh, so I'm very tactile with people. Mm -hmm. I need to touch the persons to see how far they are so I don't get too close to them. And so I start realizing that it was the same reason that I couldn't enjoy my paintings because when I touch them, they wouldn't tell me anything. So I start giving them so much texture and I thought, well, if I cannot see them, that I have sight, but I don't see them with my eyes, blind people cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So I started putting a lot of, uh, I started painting in clay, so I could use glass, copper, iron, because every every material melts differently. So it's very hard when you touch one of my pieces that they're made in clay and you touch paint, it really hurts you, hurts you. Mm -hmm. And the difference with uh, happiness, it's amazing. So I thought, well, but they're too big to be moving around. So I start painting with acrylic and I start creating the textures according to what the blind people would ask me. Like, for example, in 2014, I had an exhibition in uh, San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. It's called The Color of the Blind. A lady organizes an exhibition of art and crafts for blind people. So she invited me. And one of the blind guys, he loved my paintings and he said, but you don't have empathy. So I was like, excuse me, in order for me to paint for blind people, I need to have a lot of empathy because I want them to feel what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. I want them to enjoy. I want them to know that someone cares. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that you don't have the texture for empathy. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, he's right. I didn't think about it. So for me, it was very hard to think, how would I represent empathy? So empathy is feeling what you feel. So I thought on a wave, like you waves. So the way you are, I'm down. So you're up and I'm down. So it feels, empathy feels like uh, a lot of curves. I'd, I'm gonna put it in here, but it might not, you might not uh, be able to see. So it just curves, so it's lines. In the top, they look just like lines, but when you touch them, it goes up and it goes down. So when you are here, I'm down there. So that's how I represented empathy. Okay. Then I created honesty and other, um, I, I create empathy, honesty, and loyalty. Loyalty, I put two rows that they're one against each other. It looks like empathy, but empathy has a space in the middle. Uh, loyalty is shoulder to shoulder. Because right. for me, that's loyalty. Be shoulder to shoulder so nothing moves us. So I put two bars together. So the next year, I got invited again to exhibit in the same uh, Colors of the Blind. And the same guy came and he asked, is there the lady that paints for blind people? <laughs> and I said, yes, here I am. And he said, did you do your homework? And I said, yes, I did. It took me like six months to think about it. And when I showed it to him, I said, look, 
and he felt the curve up and down and he said that's exactly what empathy means what you what i'm feeling you feel it and he cried when he saw it in a painting he cried and he thought i would have bet that you were never gonna do it and i said it took me six months but thanks to you now i not only have empathy i have honesty and i have loyalty so that's how i've been creating now i have 36 different uh, textures and it's been thanks to th uh, blind people that they want to feel certain emotions in a painting so 